Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to reintroduce a feature that I previously covered uh, that was previously called the Simulated Drone and is now called the 3D Planner. Uh, with the updated GUI, they've brought the 3D Planner into much more of the mainstream, so it's now here on the, the tools that are available. And I think it's a great feature, so I want to recreate this video to, to bring it up to date with the improved GUI. Um, so here I am, I'm in a mission creation, I've started with a blank mission, and to introduce the 3D Planner, what it, show what it does, uh, I'm going to click on this button here, 3D Planner, and when you do that, what it does is it opens up a window um, that's going to show you what the drone sees based on the gimbal heading, the altitude, and so on. By default, you, you will have this little dot, and there's a, you can't really see it, but there's a drone underneath that dot. Um, and over here, um, you've got some options. This will turn it on and off. Actually, it just turns it off, but if you click on it, it'll turn it back on. If you click on the, the three dots, you get a whole bunch of options. This is quite important because the first thing you're going to want to do is pick the drone that you have. So in this case, I'll pick a Mavic 2 Pro. And that sets the field of view, which is quite important. And then uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is change the altitude to be something more realistic. So I'm going to say, let's say 390 feet. Um, and now you get a different view. And you'll see now what's happened is it's opened this up. You've got a little drone icon and you've got a dot. Um, so the dot is the point of interest. The drone is the drone is here. And if, you, if I pull out, you'll be able to see there's a, a shaded area. And this shows you what the drone is looking at. And I want to cover a couple of things here. One is that you'll see that it ends in a straight line here. That straight line actually means something. It means the horizon is not in view. Um, and if we push this out further, you'll see the horizon over here is now in view. And if I zoom out, this has now become a curved line. So if you're ever looking at this and it's got a straight line, uh, that means the horizon is not in view um, versus uh, a curved line means the horizon is in view. And this can be quite important depending on the client that you're, you're working with. So how do you use this? Well, the easiest way is you can drag this drone around um, and you can see over here on the right what the drone is looking at. So I'm, I'm focused on this, this area here. Uh, I want to be able to get the entire thing in shot. And I would like the horizon to be there. You can change the direction the drone looks at by clicking on this little dot here and moving it backwards and forwards or in and out, right? So in and out changes the gimbal angle and left and right will change the direction that it's looking at. Um, so obviously, you know, if you wanted to look from a different direction, you just drag over here move this. You can actually drag it around in the screen over here as well. Um, and you can change what happens when you drag based on these buttons here, which are just toggles between um, move and rotate. Okay, so that's sort of rotate and then click on this to toggle back to, to move. Um, so it's up to you where you want to do this. Um, I prefer to do it for the most part. Um, using using these these items on the map itself and just keeping an eye on the, the screen on the right. So how do you use this? Once you've set this up, once you've got the view that you want, so let's say you wanted something like that, there's a button over here and this gives you some options and the options change depending on what you've already got in, in your mission. So if you don't have anything in your mission and you click on it, um, it gives you the option to create a photo or pano or even just a checkpoint. Um, so if I said I want a photo here, great, now I've got this photo component. Um, if I had a, um, a waypoint mission somewhere, right? Um, what it will actually do is if I, if I click on plus, it will allow me to add it as an additional piece to the waypoint. I would just basically a destination on that waypoint. So I created this waypoint mission over here, just a default one. And now when I clicked on the plus and said add, it added my drone position to that mission, including the gimbal angle and everything else. So that's another way to use it. One of the ways that I use it, and it's probably not what it was designed for, but I find that I use this all the time, which is let's assume this site here, I'm making a mission for a client. And let's assume that this client wants me to create an orbit around this mission 
with the entire um, site in view. OK, so having set up this view here where I say, hey, look, I can see the entire site is in view and I've got a decent amount of space on each side. Um, what I can do here is I can say add and I can say orbit. And I'm going to click in the middle here to say that's where the orbit's going to be. And then I just literally drag this orbit size out to where the drone is. And now, as long as I set my orbit altitude to the same altitude as, as my, my vision there, um, what I'll be able to do is feel fairly confident that when I run that orbit, it's going to give me an orbit that keeps the entire site in view. Um, it's just a quick and dirty way to give me the initial orbit settings. But I find that saves me um, a lot of time just guessing and then running simulations. So anyway, that's kind of the simulated drone in a very quick nutshell. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment, and um, I'll be back soon with another video.